On my TikTok, somebody called Staten Island a dump. It may be the forgotten borough, but it's a borough in New York City. It used to have the world's largest garbage dump. Not so much anymore, they made a big park out of it. Staten Island's a beautiful place, it's the forgotten borough, and today I'm gonna show you a little bit about Staten Island. If you go back through the videos, I showed you a lot of pizza places on Staten Island. You can't walk 10 feet in Staten Island without finding a great pizza place, that's one thing to love about it. Today we're gonna look at Snug Harbor, formerly known as Sailor Snug Harbor. A lot of history there. Uh, it used to take in the retired sailors back in the day. Now they have concerts there, botanical gardens, and the Chinese scholarly garden. We're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna look at Silver Lake Park, and we're gonna take a look at Fort Wadsworth. You get beautiful views of the city. There's a beach at Fort Wadsworth, a lot of history there too. So there's a lot of beautiful parts of Staten Island that you won't see out there in the mainstream. Let's take a look. VFC's Travels, Staten Island, New York. It's where I'm from actually. No life like the good life. Follow me on Instagram. Go to my Etsy store, buy some VFC's Travels merch, get yourself an Ah Yeah t-shirt. Ah Yeah, Staten Island, New York. So that clown on TikTok actually called Staten Island an armpit, so I'm going to reference that a few times during the video. If you watch my TikTok, you'll know I had Rocky and Adrian, the ducks in the pool, for a while until they abandoned me. Uh, and there's their cousins here. 84 acres Sailor Snug Harbor is of wetlands, cultural center, uh, botanical gardens. Again, built in the early 1800s, Sailor Snug Harbor was built uh, to house retired sailors. Right now in the United States, it's said to be the largest ongoing adaptive reuse project in America. That's saying something right there in Staten Island, New York, right? And this guy calls it an armpit. Plenty of area to walk around, and you can see the architecture dates back to the 18 and 1900s. There's a couple snack stands. You can walk your dog, walk your kids. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so does this look like a fucking armpit to you? Ah, uh, yeah, Staten Island. So you pay five bucks in one of those buildings and now we'll go check out the authentic Chinese scholar garden. Does this look like an armpit to you? Ah yes, yeah, Staten Island. So in the United States, there's only two authentic replicas of the Chinese scholar garden from the Ming Dynasty era, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. One of them is right here in Sailor Snug Harbor. The architecture, the wood, the roofs, the parts, all built in China and transported back here to Snug Harbor to put the Scholar Garden together. This look like an armpit to you? Ah yes, yeah, Staten Island. Back in the day, these gardens were used to inspire philosophers such as Confucius and then Buddhist and Taoist monks. Some of their writings were inspired by these Scholar Gardens. And a team of 40 Chinamen went back to China for a year studied the scholar gardens came back to snug harbor put it together right here staten island new york ah yeah the chinese scholar garden snug harbor so now we're gonna go check out fort wadsworth so fort wadsworth located right near the verrazano narrows bridge here uh, beautiful views of the city there's a beach there you can walk your dog along the beach wouldn't think of this as Staten Island, right? There's a lot of history here in Fort Wadsworth dating back to the early 1800s. You can see where they used to bring the cannons. Uh, it was used to protect the Narrows and used to protect New York because uh, during and after the Revolutionary War, the evil Brits used to occupy Staten Island and a lot of territory in New York. No more, Fort Wadsworth played a big role in defending the Narrows and defending the New York Harbor. Ah yeah, another beautiful place in Staten Island. Not much of an armpit, hey? Now Silver Lake Park, Silver Lake, 209 acres, originally built as an answer to Manhattan's Central Park. And it's a reservoir endpoint of the Catskill Mountains water supply for New York City. Here's some story time with VFC. Another story time with VFC. You see, this here is a reservoir. Uh, but when I was a kid, my dad used to take me swimming in here, uh, back there along that coast over there. And there's this one time I remember the state trooper was coming. And of course, uh, he was gonna kick us out of here and give us tickets, whatever. But my dad just said, run, just go climb up that tree you always climb and don't come down until you see me down there. So I did, I ran and climbed to the top of the tree and uh, and just hung out there until he came and I guess my dad got a ticket. But uh, it was pretty funny, story time with VFC. But I, yeah, uh, Silver Lake Park, the memories. So there you have it, VFC's Travels first edition of Staten Island's Not Much of an Armpit, is it? There's beautiful things to see on the island. Give it a chance, take the ferry over, get some of that good pizza. You got the Ninos, you got Brothers, you got Barry's, you got Pier 76. There's no life like the good life VFC's travels on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and follow me on Instagram and get yourself to the Etsy store. Ah, yeah.